That's cool. Oh, jeez. He smells funny. Ah, the zoo. Smack dab in the middle of wonderful New York City. Look how happy everyone is. Who wouldn't love this place? Well, to be honest, me. The food, the balloons, the animals. That's all well and good if you're a little kid, but I'm just not sure if this is where I belong. I mean, I'm turning 10 years old today. There's got to be something more out there than this. And you know, maybe today I'll find it. Collect three power cards. Hey, cool, power cards. Bet if I collect enough of them, I can pick... Kick in those gates! Just press the attack button to bust those bad boys open. Hey, hey, Alex! Just the line I wanted to see. Come on, Marty. I remembered it's your birthday, okay? You don't have to butter me up. I was being sincere, man. It's good to see you. Okay, you caught me. I got you something, but what with all my rehearsing, I haven't had time to wrap it yet. Four shows a day. Gotta get into character four times. That'll take its toll, sure. Yeah, four a day. And with all due respect for what you do and your whole treadmill shtick, it's not the easiest thing in the world remaking myself from scratch after each performance. But seriously, man, you've hit the big one all. Only comes once. So, you want me to run you through your routine? Actually, a living audience does kind of help me focus my chi. Uh, just stand still right there. Perfect, Marty. Perfectly stationary. Thanks. Press the jump button to... I think by now we're up to speed on jumping there, Evil Knievel. Okay then, get jumping. Find your three power cards so we can move on. Seeing your smiling faces makes it all worthwhile. Now you should be able to get some extra air. At the top of your jump, just press that freaky jump button again to somersault to higher places. Now let's see you jump through the rainbow ring. The people dig it. Well, looky here, it's that overly pampered lion. Let's show him who the real kings of New York are. Someone order ranch dressing? <laughs> you can't do your act with those pigeons raining on your parade. Use your attack button to roar and scare them off. your pedestal and do the regal pose bit. Looks like my work here is done. Maybe you ought to swing by Glorious. You look like you need a little pick-me-up. Nobody cheers up a zebra like a hippo, right? I'll see you tonight at the birthday thing. Now, if you'll excuse me. Maybe Melman can cheer me up. No matter how bad I think things are, they're always somehow worse for him. Marty, what's wrong? Is it contagious? What's wrong? Well, 
I've just been feeling a little... Oh, things are going okay with me. Except, of course, for the germs. Oh, and then there's the microbes. And then there's the fact that I've been waiting for my medication for the last 38 minutes! Oh, Marty, this is the end! How can you stand it? Okay. I'll see you later, Melman. Another these balloons, I talk funny. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in a cuckoo shop. Happy birthday, Marty. Thanks, Glow. Look, sister, are we gonna race or just get in touch with our inner angst all day? They want to raise you? I uh, know. Do they know about the... Nope. So they're full of... To the beaks. You heard the zebra. Time to put your money where your mouth is. In point of fact, we have neither money nor mouths. But if you're really up for a race, we accept your challenge. Marty, would you mediate? On your mark, get set. Did I say move yet? I don't think so. In fact, forget it. The race is canceled. Go! It may not be very ladylike, but I can use my tumble attack by pressing the attack button. I can't stop! Wow! Those spicy peppers sure I get you moving. It is we that will be victorious! Hot pepper shot, that's good! One more lap to go! I'm advancing on you! Your chances of winning are minimal. With all that juice, you can knock out some of those hay bales and find a shortcut. You are beaten, hippopotamus. Cry mercy. Keep grabbing those peppers. Wasn't even close. Okay, maybe it was a little close, but the point is, you still beat those bird brains brains in. Awesome, Glow. Looks like my work here is done. Guess I'll kick it on back to the curb. Aw, Marty. Don't be blue-striped. Chin up. It is your birthday, after all. That's classified. Classified? To whom? Looks more like you're just hanging around by a hole in the wall. Absolutely not. We're in the midst of a covert training operation. Trying to bring the private here up to speed in the ancient military art of fishing. Now that I think about it, the operation really isn't so covert. Would you care to observe? Sure. Beats anything else I got going. All right, private. It's time to prove yourself in the field. Move your pole left and right. Once you're ready to drop that lure, hold down the action button, and when you want to reel the fish in, just release the action button. Look up and down to control how far you throw the lure. Simple, right? Well, let's see you catch some fish. Ten hook. Not quick enough, son. The fish will grab the bait right off the hook if reflexes aren't tip-top. Try it again. Keep fishing, soldier. Double time. Fine technique, son. 
Now let's see you land that green gor- Those penguins are psychotic! Outstanding! Now go for only red airing. Got some chops as a fisherman, son. The war sometimes requires creativity. Snare a stuffed lion decoy. May come in handy later. Do not give up, son. No quitters in my unit. could beat up those birds. Recover the hat. Steadfast, soldier. Steadfast. Two, three, four. Let's see if you can find me some sunglasses. Now get me a bucket, soldier. Keep fishing, soldier. Double time. That was some first class fishing. You've completed your training. Those penguins are cooking something up. Hmm. Wonder if Melman's cooled off enough to talk. Sup, Melman? Hey, Marty. I forgot to wish you happy birthday earlier. Sometimes I get wrapped up in my own problems. My basic hygienic needs are going unmet. Say what? I don't do medical speak. My biohazard disinfectant team is late, again. You just can't get good help. And they're unionized, so just try to complain. Did you ever think about cleaning the cage yourself? I don't even think you have a biohazard disinfectant team. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I guess I could try to clean things up around here. I'm not afraid of a little dirt. Melman! Press your attack button to spin that garbage out of your cave. Unless you like those germs. I don't do germs. Ugh. Oh, gross. Gone, foul, foul. They're like germs with wings and beaks, beaks. At last, the cleaning crew. See, Marty. See, see, see. Yep, I'll never doubt you again, Melman. Don't caught me on that, though. I'm more concerned with how the chaos affected my immune system. I'm sure it will recover. It's your mental state that you should be more worried about. The zoo is driving us crazy. I just have to get out to the wild. Thanks, Melman. Time to get back to my place and eat some of that fine Kentucky bluegrass for lunch. And dinner. And dessert.
Marty. Uh, speaking. I've heard some rumors about your supposed disposition to the confines of your brick-laden cell. One more time? Different? You want out. Uh, yeah, I do. Welcome aboard the Freedom Express, my monochromatic friend. I'm here to spring you. All you gotta do is stay close to me at all times, and do not panic. I just have one question. If we're trying to sneak out of here without the guards knowing, why are you yelling? That is an excellent question, Stripes. Let me get back to you on that. Here's the situation. The entire zoo is buttoned up tight by a series of locked gates. Each key opens the gate with the matching animal icon. Use the keys at the terminals to open the gate. The first gate we need to open is Gate Ostrich. The Zone Ostrich key is located in the janitor's shed, but the only way in there is a small crawl space. You don't know how to crawl yet, but we can fix that. Three of our operatives have smuggled in power cards. Each operative in sequence will give you their cards. Collect all three and you'll be able to crawl into that shed and get that key. Now follow me to Darnell, our first... Die. Hey, is it time for me to do my special trick? Darnell here has been storing a power card safely in his belly for the last several days. Now the plan is to have him spit it out. You'll need it and two more to gain your next ability. Uh, you sure he's gonna spit it out of his mouth, right? Marty, we better hope so. Okay, here goes. Good work. Now get the remaining power cards from the other two operatives. Take that! Hey ya! <laughs> um, hey Nick. Skipper says you might have a little something for me. <laughs> He's right! <laughs> I got what you need! Kick. Careful, Stripes. Careful. Oh, yeah! Feels good! Go! Come on, Marty. Hey, I'm looking for... Uh, are you okay? Yeah, man, I'm great. Fantastic. It's just like... I've got this horn, you know, and I just have to keep charging. But I'm not really charging anything. There's really no purpose to this action. It's just instinct. I don't have a choice in the matter. This is all a little deep for me right now. Oh, no problem. I know what you're here for. You want a power card. Well, here you go. Hey, now that you have the crawl ability, you should probably go meet up with your penguin friend again. Take that! Outstanding! Now that you've got the key, follow me to the yellow gate. Welcome to Zone Ostrich, my monochromatic friend. Here's a gate to Zone Monkey over there hey, at the block. You go talk to those oversized birds and see if they know anything. We'll reconnoiter at the drop zone. Watch it, kid. Get back here, b Do not be discouraged, Marty. They can't hold us in here forever. <laughs> oh, yeah! Feels good! You may want to consider using those trash cats to your advantage. Kick them at the bubbling guards and watch the slapstick hilarity ensue. Look out. Oof. Take 
Take that! Psst. Now follow me and crawl into Zone Bird. Using your crawl ability, you can duck behind those hedges up there, and the guards won't even be able to see you. I'll be on the opposite side of this birdcage. Careful, Stripes. Careful. Ouch! Watch it, kid. Oh, oh yeah! Feels good! Don't say it, don't say it, I've heard it all before. Heard what all before? Very funny. Yes, my nose is slightly gargantuan, and yes, I'm very uncomfortable with that. It's a serious medical condition that affects my entire species to varying degrees. Yes, I am getting a nose job, then I'll make sure to point out all your shortcomings. Settle down, pal. I'm not making fun of your nose. I'm just trying to get out of here without any of these guards seeing me. Well, since you're not here to destroy what little self-image I have left, I suppose I should tell you that if you kick those poles, you will activate those safari noises. The guards will have to leave their posts and investigate. Look out! I have no idea how to shut this off! What are they- That's a sound pole making noise, all right. Careful, Stripes. Careful. If a guard is too far away from a sound pole, he won't hear it. You will know when a pole is in range because the light on its control panel will turn green. In some cases, you will have to lure a guard from one pole to another. Who's messing with the sound poles? Better not be those kids again. That's a sound pole making noise, all right. Take that! Hey ya! Watch it, kid. Oh yeah! Feels good. Hey, what's all? Monkey zone, here we go! We're in zone monkey. Marty, come over here, quietly. Take that! Hey, ya! Oh, yeah! Feels good! Look out! Ah! Oof!
You'll not make it out of this zoo if you allow the guards to see you. Keep your head up and your eyes open. Directly into the path of danger, my friend. What are you talking about? It's the zoo hunter, that nut they hired to run nighttime security. When everyone's gone home, he makes like a fortress thingy out of hay bales in front of the main gate. And watch out for his heavy duty tranquilizers. You'll need to keep your head down unless you want a quick nighty night. Right on. Thanks, man. Not again! When are they gonna get rid of these stupid sound holes? I should probably get back to my post. No, I'll just stay around here a little longer. Careful, Stripes. Careful. Take that! Gonna need to use your wits and exercise a little caution if this mission is to succeed. Careful, stripes, careful. This is where we part ways, amigo. It saddens me to leave you like this, but these are harsh realities of war. Can't you at least tell me how to get out of here? The janitor over there by the main gate probably has the key. Go through the main gate over there. Ah, freedom. So sweet you can taste it. See you on the other side. How'd you get loose? How many times I tell them sissy boys to tighten security around that zoo? But no, they had a budget. Get in formation, men. You're glue, Zebra. I don't know how you got this far, but you're not gonna escape my zoo. You better watch it. I ain't one of those women Take nature back. video zebras. You missed me. You're stuck here. 
Oh, jeez. This has got to be the right way. <laughs> Ew! Smells like zebra. Could be any zebra, though. Come on, guys. Marty can't be far ahead. We gotta get to Grand Central Station before he gets on that train. Let's go back. What if they try to pet me? Relax, guys. You're with the King of New York. They love me here. Everything's gonna work out. Right. Let's split up, guys. We'll cover more ground that way. Meet you up ahead. City's full of freaking ass. <laughs> Well, you don't see this every day. Well, some days, yes, but not every day. I need shorter shifts. I'm starting to see things. Dude, I think I just saw the guys from the band. Ever since we do that, I just... Walking around Times Square? Hey, mister. Gray weather is so last season. It makes me look beautiful. The Mets must be in town. Where is everyone? Now I've seen it all! Ah! Finally! New York's finest! What took you guys so long? Spot any zebras? Looks like he's hostile, boys. Set your tasers to zap. tonight this is why my mother wanted me to be a doctor hey nice coat lady that's sweet cat's got to be quicker if I want to survive ever since we Every day. Yes, you 
pick the movie. Holy moly! You s ah! Any luck? Me neither. My women's intuition tells me that Grand Central Station is this way. I'll meet you up ahead. Whatever you say, Glow, just hurry! Grand Central Station, here we come! These peppers are making me crazy! Yeah, that's right! So nice! Doesn't look too tough, just a little congestion. I see Marty's tags. He must have dropped them. Really? Where? Ah! Well, they're just over there. Great! Lead the way! Uh, you sure? Uh, okay. I'll be in real trouble if I don't stay above the street. It's really dangerous down there. I need to collect the three power cards to activate my helicopter spin move. Free 
freaks in this city. I've been touched by Phil. This is horrible. I am especially intolerant to pain. This is more pain than anyone should take. Sciatica problems. This is not good. People, people are breathing near me. <laughs> I wasn't born to bounce. I also dream very poorly. Start talking, Zebra. Really? Do you have any idea what running through this city did to my sinuses? Do you? Hey, who are those guys? Relax, they just cops. With helmets? And tranquil... I mean... Oh, of course. Get the lion first. Don't make me come over there and your kick come. Guys, hey, I hope those needles have been sterilized. Melman, I hardly think that's the least of our... Ow! I hope you're happy now. Maybe I am happy. Maybe this is the good kind of capture, where they take you to exciting places and shower you with gifts and sing songs. Why you always have to be so negative, Alex? Oh, right. The good kind of capturing. Yeah, this is the most palatial crate I think I've ever been stuffed into. Sure feels sorry for those poor saps and coach. Look, I don't remember twisting anybody's arm to come with me on this quest. Could you guys please cut it out? This is not helping my sciatica. Would you guys quit belly aching? Let's just try to stay positive and proactive. Here, I know. I spy with my little eyes something dark. Oh, that's just great. Shh. But I... Shh. What was that? Well, it definitely wasn't me. All right, men. Now that we're out of those cells, let's proceed to our next objective. And what is our next objective, Skipper? You're a step ahead of me, soldier. Hijacking this boat to Antarctica is looking like the plan. Anyone else have an idea? I personally would consider overthrowing the ship's captain and crew as well. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant by hijacking, Kowalski. You boys stay here and hold the fort while I scout ahead. I'll let you know when it's okay to move up. You scout ahead to find a rendezvous point. Then call us up. All right, I've just got to remember my hand-to-hand -hand combat training here. First, I'll need to slide into the sailor by pressing the attack button. Then once he's down, pressing the attack button again will knock him out with a karate chop. Hey, what are you guys doing?
So far, so good. I've reached the first call-up point. I need to open that cage door. Then I can use the action button to call up the troops. Roger that. Okay, boys, let's move out. Hut, 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 Looks like we're going through the pipe. Come on, hut. 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 My trick me tells me some bad stuff. Hey, what's that? Now I gotcha. Boy, I sure miss TV. This crane gives me an idea. I might be able to use it to take out the guards. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Yeah, hands up! Hey, I'm not insured. Well, this is so bad. Check out it. They're not paying me enough to deal with this. Lego, giant floating hand. Hey, I'm not insured. Oh, oh this is most. Let's roll. Double time. Hut, 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 Let's roll. Double time. Hut. 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 We need to get up to that air shaft.
What's that noise? Oh, it's happening again. Something's wrong with our plumbing. Oh, I'm not cleaning this up. Something's wrong with our plumbing. I hope my girl remembers me. Mm. Did I remember to feed my iguana before I left? We're gonna take the radio room or die trying. Hut, hut, A crate full of bowling balls. How fortuitous. And those guards over there are starting to look like pigs. Double time. Hut, 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 Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Forget it. They're not paying me enough to deal with this. Lego, giant rodent head. Yeah, hands up! You can't do this to me. Well, this is so bad. Me down! I'm afraid of heights. I, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do this to me. All right, boys, all clear, move up. There are three gates that stand between us and the upper deck. Use the crane to move us to those buttons and we'll get the gates open.
Let's roll. Double time. Hut. 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 My trick me tells me some bad stuff's about to go down. This place is getting pretty crowded. I might want to use that cardboard box to sneak by those sailors. I could just get to that tranquilizer. I could sure turn the tables on these guards. Eat my dice. These guys are pretty tough. May take more than one shot to ice them. Yet another locked door. I'll need the key for this one. We're going to storm the mess hall. Take no prisoners. Hut. 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 Comrades, give me a hand with this ladder, will you? Next stop is the bridge. Let's go. There's the door to the bridge. This is it, boys. What we've been working for. Let's take it. Now hold on there. This is the end of the line for you ducks. Did he call us ducks? Get him. Get the tranquilizer. It's our only... Eat my ducks.
To the victors go the spoils. Kudos all around, especially you, Rico. Yay, good going. What next, Skip? We're over the hump. Now all we have to do is simply master the ship's controls and guide us safely to Antarctica. to visit us. Do come in and take a look at splendid old bean. Ah, yes. Must be nearby or lost at sea forever. Let's go with option one. I better catch up to him and the others. Maybe I can find a directory somewhere. Hey, these mangoes are the perfect size to throw. Maybe I can use him to bean one of those knuckleheads who keeps trying to hurt me. Finally! Someone I can talk to! Pardon me, I was just... How dare you sneak up on me and try to take my precious pearls, you monstrous kitty cat! Okay, first off, I realize this is San Diego, but where I come from, it's not generally considered sneaking up to approach someone from the front while talking in a pleasantly modulated tone. That's true. Yeah, glad to see we're on the same page. Listen, I really need to find my friends. Have you seen any newcomers like me? The Giants? Yeah, I saw them. Head down to the beach and fetch me six shiny new pearls from my collection. Then we'll talk. Get those pearls, you yellowness! Heesh! You people from San Diego aren't as laid back as you're cracked up to be! Take us to the flowers. Flowers. Oops! Take us to the flowers. Nice 
were. Now beat it! Hey! What about our deal? You were gonna tell me where I can find my friends! I might have seen them over by the waterfalls. Now scram a -voo. Sure is hot here. Their air conditioning must be down. I'll have to speak to someone. Hey! Is that Marty? Marty! Over here! He must not be able to hear me. I've got to get up there. more damage I can take. Well, hello there, gigantic beast. How are... Uh, achoo! How are... Achoo! Blasted hay fever. Some days you're the windshield and some days you're the bee. How exactly does a bee get hay fever? Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? We've got a bounty of pollen but no flowers to mingle with. Have you seen any? Flowers? I've seen acres of them in this zoo. Any chance you've seen a zebra, hippo and giraffe who probably has hay fever too? No, dear, but I'll tell you what. If you lead three of my swarms to flowers, I'll send out some drones to look for your mates. Sounds good. Finally, a little cooperation in this place. Now, the boys are a wee bit skittish with strangers, so don't be taking too long getting them to their flowers, dear. Take us to the flowers. Thank you so much, sweetie pie. One of my drones seems to recall seeing your friends walking down that path over there. Take us to the flowers. <laughs> I'd better get it together sooner, I'll be toast! <laughs> I bet if I ate that plant, my roar would be super loud. A zebra run by here? Ah, uh, yes, the striped guy. Yeah, that's him. Do you know where he went? He could not find something called the reception desk. Then he ran off into the jungle. Looked like he was in a real hurry. I'll never catch him at this rate. Well, if you were smaller, I'd fly you there myself. But I think I'm going to need some help. Will you stay here and guard my mushrooms while I find some of my friends? Sure! Because, uh, you see those cockroaches over there? The moment I leave, those things will try to steal every mushroom I have. If you can save me enough mushrooms, I'll help you out.
You spiders should be back in your cage where you belong. Like now I'm dealing with spiders. Wow, this path is pretty narrow. Better move carefully. Take us to the flowers. I tried to give the suit the benefit of the doubt, but I can't anymore. This place is evil! Take us to the flowers. Go. He was right behind us. Alex! Marty! Gloria! It touched my head. Slow down, man. What touched your head? Well, actually, I don't know, but it was dark and something touched my head. You are kind of tall, you know. Oh. Shh. Guys, do you hear that? Look over there. Cockroaches. Maybe it was just their bedtime. How often do you run to bed screaming? Almost every night. We know. Hello? Anybody out there? No! That was weird. Do you think they believe me? Mort, did it ever occur to you that saying you aren't here proves that you are here? I don't get it. Do you think they're friendly? I don't know. It would make me very happy if they were. Oh, would it? Yeah, I would be like so happy. What would you say if I told you I had a plan to find out if they were friendly? That would be neat. What's the plan? <gasps> ah, what is that? He's kind of cute. Me, please, hurt, <laughs> don't. Oh no. He's a masochist! I don't think that's what he meant. Hi. Ha, ha, ha. What's your name? <laughs> we're gonna be here a while. What's happening? Well, they haven't eaten him yet. I think we're in the clear. Splendid! We shall form a welcoming committee and we shall welcome them. You're not going to eat me? Now, why would anyone want to eat you? 
A good question, and I will answer it for you. Wait, why would anyone want to eat Mort? Because he's really annoying, Your Majesty. Because he's really... That's not it. It's something else. Because we are lemurs, and fooses eat lemurs. Because we are fooses, and fooses eat lemurs. Fusa? Where? Ah! No, I, I wasn't... Hmm. Anyway, we would like to welcome your giants who are not going to eat Mort. Where do you hail from? We're from New York. What zoo is this? Zoo? I don't believe I'm familiar with that term. Is that a New York expression? We call this island we live on Madagascar. Madagascar? Marty, do you know what this means? You've actually made it to the wild. You got your wish, Marty. Hey, you're right. I mean, uh, yes, of course. The wild. I can't believe it. So wait, who are you guys again? I am Julian, king of all lemurs, and this is Maurice, and we are the welcoming committee. So welcome, New York Giants! Um, excuse me, I, I couldn't help but notice some of your subjects screamed at the mention of the word Fusa. Is this something we too should be screaming about? Fusas? Well, Fusas are the sworn enemy of us lemurs, the main problem being that Fusas like to eat us. I don't like the sound of that. What do these Fusas look like? They look kind of like... that! They do look kind of hungry, don't they? Hey, there go my friends again! Wait for me, guys! Do not worry, my new friend. We will meet up with him later. For now, we need to find a place to hide until this inconvenience has passed. Inconvenience? These fools look pretty mean. Follow us. That is the secret passage under the baobab tree. Follow us. Oh! Okay, let's never do that again. So, where do we go now, guys? Follow us, Marty! A new party awaits! I can't decide if you guys are blissfully ignorant or just ignorant. Maybe I should just kick these stalagmites. Oops, gave away too much. I bet I can use those wobbling rocks to my advantage. I kinda like those little lemurs. Sure wish they had waited for me though. You must keep up the base, there is party and to be had. It's the infamous water cave spiders. Oh, man. man, I am just taking a beating. You have four legs, shouldn't they be carrying you faster? I better get to those lemurs quick! Those fools don't seem to mess around. These stalagmites don't look very strong. Get moving, Marty! Oh, jeez, giant spiders! Though I guess that's better than giant scorpions. You know, I should really kick more things around here. Better things to do than splat. It's a little windy up here. Too windy for us smaller creatures. Yeah, I noticed. I'm afraid some of the other lemurs may be stuck out there. Can you brave the wind and save them? Me? It's cold out there. 
Yes, but you are just large enough to survive the powerful gusts of wind, provided you get behind some of these barriers and use them as shelter until the wind passes. Save us, heroic one! Bless you, zebra! Danger approaches! I'm gonna get blown away out here if I don't crouch under some of these lower barriers. Help us, help us. We thank you from the bottom of the... Maybe I ought to try ducking under these smaller barriers if I want to be safe from this wind. Thank you, thank you, thank you! to be out in the wind. Looks like all those little guys are safe now. Wonder where everyone else ended up. Ah, separated again. Shish. Guess I'll ask one of the locals for directions. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. Do you speak English? <sighs> oh, guess not. I'd better get out of here and see if I can hook back up with the others. Too bad, though, because it does seem like a charming seaside resort. Watch out for these guys, seem to have a little bit of a rage problem. These looses sure are rude, even by this island's standards. Resort hotel treats. Hey guys, have you seen the rest of my friends? Oh, they must have gone up ahead to the alternate location for our party. Where exactly is that? I'm not sure yet, but we're starting to look for them. We must consider many things. First, wow, it's a perfectly safe looking straight path. Let's go. Uh, guys. I think we might want to be careful around here. There are some very dangerous... I don't want to hear the end of any sentences. Now let's go. It's best just not to argue with him. Seriously, guys, there are some of those toothy, clawy things lurking around here. What do you call them? Fusa? <sighs> As king, I proclaim this a time of... PANIC! The king has spoken. That's it! No more Mr. Nice Lion! Fusa, it's on! Protect the lemurs! Jeez, if I wasn't here, these lemurs would be history! This is definitely no resort hotel. I don't know what I was thinking earlier. These Fusa aren't just rude, they're pure evil. Fusa, what is wrong with you? Uh-oh, 
Better watch out for those Kusa up on the ledges. Jeez, if I wasn't here, these lemurs would be history. You mangy Fusa! Thank you! Behold! The hero tree draws nigh! This is definitely no resort hotel. I don't know what I was thinking earlier. Guys, have you noticed the pain? We have almost made it to the end! Huzzah! Fusa, what is wrong with you? I was almost certain that we were all going to die, yet here we are, everyone accounted for! Unless we did die, and this is some extremely vivid dream. Sir, you're not dreaming! The mighty Alex has saved us all! Yes, yes, and now it's back to our village for a real celebration! Welcome, New York Giants. You come at an opportune time. We are preparing a veritable feast. Carrots, mushrooms, pineapple, cave onions, and for dessert, the melon tart. But we have none of these things. That is why we call on our industrious lemur minions. The uh, problem with preparing the feast is that uh, when the Fusa attacked, our food supplies were kind of wiped out. It's always something. Well, this should be quite a soiree. Who needs food? You can help greatly with some basic foraging. That sounds dangerous. Then would you consider collecting fruit and vegetables instead? That will do. It's settled then. Use the totems to switch between you and your three friends. You have each different abilities and can finish different tasks. Oh, one more thing. If you would like advice on where to look for the banquet items, you can return to me and I'll try and help you out. Alex, my friend. Yes, Gloria. I'd be glad to take over for you. Grotto, the cave onions ripen. Harvest them quickly or the spiders will get them first. Spiders? We will be needing many cave onions for the marvelous, savory, fried, blossom spectacular. That's a lot of... Don't dilly-dally, the harvest season doesn't last that long. Onion. 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 Onion.
shiny. You've done it. You've collected enough cave onions for marvelous savory fried blossom spectacular. Now we shall feast for days. Juicy sweet, juicy sweet. Juicy sweet, juicy sweet. They seem a bit too happy. There again, my gigantic friend. So nice to see you. Unfortunately, though, tis not much else I can see as I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Would you be a dear and guide me to the fruit plants that need my pollination help? Nice to see you again as well, and yes, I would be more than happy to help. Oh, of course you would. Such a nice boy you are. Now, I do have a strict order in which I must visit the various plants as their flowers reach full bloom. So pay close attention and be swift and sure with your guidance. First, we must go to the Crimson Crimsonian plant. It's very nearby. Next to the Blue 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 plant. Now the limey green one. Where is Periwinkle? I must on to sea foam green. A lot like Periwinkle, but green. Light! Only a couple more to go. Next, the wondrously rare gray plant. And finally, the dark black plant, as black as coal. A honey of a job. love growing in this garden, all right? But these nasty little moles like to uproot the plants before they're ripe. I need you to save the veggies by smashing the moles whenever one surfaces, all right? I can get with that. Cool! Show them your butts the boss and some of the fruits or vegetables of your labor will be yours. Can you dig? Hope so. He can. Good luck, Gloria, all right? Meddling hippo, you pay for this. You haven't seen the last of me. You showed that mole the way home. Here's your prize, Gloria. Alex, my friend. Yes, Gloria, I'd be glad to take over for you. I wish to direct your attention to the mushroom you see growing here. Quite a delicacy and the taste simply to die for. Mm. Of course, you know they're quite rare and grown under only the most specific conditions. You must repeat their colorful patterns exactly for the mushroom to grow. 
Repeat. You must repeat that colorful pattern for the mushy mushroom to grow. That's not what I meant. I mean, this game seems familiar somehow. Oh, I assure you this is no game, my uncultured friend. This, this is art. Fine, let's get going. Do keep going. Be steadfast in your vigilance. I'm afraid this job is only for you, Alex. That's simply how life works. I apologize for not being of more assistance, but this is simply something you must do by yourself. Would love to help, but it's just not doable. Well done! The precious mushroom has begun its celestial ballet. Start collecting. You have to go and worry me like that. Oh man, why did they have to tell us food was coming so hungry? I'm afraid to ask. These cockroaches are trying to steal our stash of noogie nuts for the noogie nut noogie smoothies. I need to get rid of them, but I'm too small. All oh, those roaches make me so mad I could just squeeze them really hard and yell at them. Ah! Why can't Alex do it? Well, the other New York giants scare them off only temporarily, so then they come back. But you, you can help. See, the cockroaches aren't afraid of you because you're afraid of them. But if you gather what courage you have, you can wait for them to come and then head bash them. Yeah! You said it, though. I'm scared of them. Then you can stand in the middle of the Nuki Nuts mound. They'll form a kind of protective barrier. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's right. And then bash the roaches when they come for the Nuki Nuts. Ha! That'll work! Oh, that's gross. Well, you do want Noogie Nut Noogie Smoothies, don't you? They're really, really good! All right, I'll do it. Noogie Noogie. My Noogie Noogie. My Noogie. Noogie Noogie. My Noogie. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie.
out there. Yep, Melman. You're a regular king of the jungle. Say, is that yoga you're doing? Oh, I'm just trying to get this fruit and... Oh, be still, my foolish heart. Excuse me? I'm Wilbur, and you are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. I must have you. Oh, please. You've got a much better chance of picking up the fruit, and that's not looking too good. Well, I, uh, you know, I, j I, I just uh, I can't lift that much right now because I injured my knee earlier doing uh, something really impressive. Say, maybe you could help me smash these melons I need to make my famous melon tort? And what's in it for me? Well, I could make you some to bring back for your grand jubilee feast. It's on. Oh, okay, great. We just have to smash these melons quick as they ripen. Otherwise, they spoil fast. And I only believe in using fresh fruit. Could you hurry up a bit? Thanks, baby. Sorry. You're back. Now we got it working. Could you hurry up a bit? That was like poetry in motion. We should get together on another date again soon. Another date, Wilbur? Yes, but now I have to start making that melon tort I promised. Catch you later. Needs her beauty. Don't worry, Marty's on the cake.
so wish to challenge me to a jumping contest, do you? Think you can jump farther than me, can you? I didn't say anything about a jumping contest. We never even met before. Although, now that you mention it, yes, I guess I do think I can jump farther than you. Ah, well, how's about we make a little contest out of it, uh-huh? If you can out-jump me, I'll give you some of my frog fruit. Makes for a great gift, it does. And of course, if I win, I'd say a few words designed and intended to humiliate you. Sounds like a good deal. Let's see what you got, little frog. <laughs> So, I might have underestimated you, Zebra. You got Moxie, I'll give you that I will. But that was only the first jump it was. Let's see if you make the next one. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, my friend. You still haven't seen my best jump yet. Been going easy on you, have. Got a feeling that's about to change, though. Well, looks like I've misjudged you, stranger. You got some real legs on you, uh-huh. Probably deserve a bit of frog fruit for your troubles, and I'm here to give it to you. As you go down the mudslide, see if you can pick up any fruit along the way. for helping us to find all the ingredients for all the wonderful food we will be providing for you at our super special and amazing banquet. In exchange for your help, we would like to give you um, the key to the jungle! Sir, we don't have a door to the jungle, much less a key. Well, what can we give them then? Well, it's a banquet. Just give them food. Oh, good one. You know that key to the jungle thing, it gets sold. And what good would it do you anyway? I've changed my mind. I am in fact going to offer you lots and lots of food from our banquet. I thought we were going to get that in. Thank you so much. Right, thanks. Hey, Melman, have you seen Alex lately? He's not looking so good. Oh, dear. I knew it was only a matter of time until one of us contracted a disease indigenous to these new lands and passed it on to the rest. Our bodies aren't designed to survive in this environment. Do you understand, Gloria? Our bodies just aren't designed! Melman, you need to grab some downtime, buddy. I don't think Alex has any kind of disease. I think he's just getting really, really hungry. Did you notice he didn't eat a single thing at the banquet? Oh, that. Well, yes, I noticed, but that's just because we couldn't find a steak tree. Once we find one of those, he'll be eating like a sheep with enterotoxemia. Except hopefully he won't die afterwards. That's all well and good, except there's no such thing as a steak tree! Uh-oh. Now I'm back to being worried again. And that can lead to equine protozoal myelitis, or EPM for short. Melman, you're not getting equine proto-whatever. We just need to figure out a way for Alex to get some steak. There's Maurice over there. Why don't you go ask him if he can help? Mel 
Omen! Thank the stars you're here! Hey, do you have any stake trees in this jungle? I am sorry, my friend, but I have not heard of such a thing. But if we did have this stake you speak of, it would have to be on this grand baobab tree. Unfortunately, though, it is festering with baobab worms. Perhaps you could help us save the tree from the worms and maybe find this thing you call stake. Good thing I'm not tall enough to see these. Oh, worms! Why didn't you tell me they were so horrible? I'm trying, Melman. You can save the tree and wipe out the worms and their nests by gliding to these mushroom platforms around the tree. Our bad buddies have supplied you with coconuts to fling at them. But I heard that worms in the nest are poisonous. My body cannot tolerate toxins. Then make sure you don't touch them. Glide to the platform over there. Why can't I throw something clean, like antibacterial soaps or something? As much as I want to complain, there's something about flinging these coconuts I actually like. <laughs> this is more pain than anyone should take. I better watch out for those vultures. Maybe I can fling some coconuts at them. possible side effects of being up this high. Good news, Melman! We found the Baobab Worm's primary colony! That's good news? Well, the good news is that we found them. The bad news is that they're breeding like crazy! We need to stop them! Pronto! That's terrible! It looks like there's quite an army of those filthy little creatures down there. Right! And that's where you come in! This time, instead of coconuts, you're going to have to fling these durian bombs down onto the worms and their nests! We're counting on you, Melman! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Great shot, Longneck! Now find the next pile of durians and bomb the next colony! Go! Get 
get to the next pile of durians and away we'll go. Hey, that rhyme. <laughs> Yay! Maybe I should have mentioned my acrophobia before agreeing to do this goal. much higher, the risk of pulmonary edema increases tremendously. All right, I've been busting my hump to keep this garden productive and these moles could care less, all right? You think you can help me? I'm game. What do you need me to do? All right. These bad boys come in three colors. The black ones are mild. The gray ones are wild. The brown ones are somewhere in the middle, all right? You show these pests you mean business and I'll give you a point for the black, two for the brown, and three for those gray menaces. And if you can get enough points, my troubles will be literally buried. Literally. You test with the wrong guard to do whatever it is you do. Pick the wrong guard to do whatever I'd stay on the ground if I were you guys. Don't you moles have a rock to crawl back under? Sure beats cop! Looks like moleskin clothing is about you to come did, back. But maybe style. you can do even better, alright? Your friend Alex lately? Alex? Oh yeah, he's down there. I mean, have you seen his condition? It's making me very uncomfortable. 
You three look delicious tonight. <laughs> like to come down for, for dinner? This isn't good. I'm gonna go find Marty. Melman, we need to get across this valley to the cave over there if we want to catch up to the others. Alex seems to have developed a strange, unhealthy obsession with you, Mort. Yeah, you think? Your little helicopter spinning routine could come in handy. If you can fly me from one platform to another, we can avoid your crazed friend. Sounds doable, I guess. Just make sure to stay elevated and don't fall down to the ground level. Or, uh, well, let's just say you don't want to know what could happen. Right. <laughs> Somehow, I never thought Alex would be the first Come one on, of Mort. us to fall into I just want to play! Psychosis. Mort! There's something I'd like to discuss with you! Alex must have gone completely crazy! I can't catch that, can I? Mort! There's something I'd like to discuss with you! Mort! There's something I'd like to discuss with you! stayed above the ground, I think I might have been a goner. Yeah, I'm getting worried about Marty and Gloria being down there. Less worried now. It seems your friend Alex has finally understood his predatory nature. Huh? What are you talking about? What I mean is, Alex is a lion and lions eat other animals. That's where steak comes from! Uh, still not getting it. Does this explain things, Melman? Alex just bit me on the butt! See? Yep, that is a bite on the butt, all right. Unless we all want to be steak, I suggest we beat it. Guys, we gotta get off this island before we all lose our minds. We need to rebuild Alex's rescue beacon so we can get out of here. Did I overhear something about a rescue beacon? I can take care of that for you. Really? Wilbur, I could just kiss you. If I hadn't already washed once today. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Alright, let's get the bad news over with first. The bad news is that your rescue beacon burned down. We know we'll never get off of Cannibal Island. Pipe down, Melman. So, tell us the good news. Well, there are some materials you could use for a new beacon scattered all over this beach. If you can find all of them, I know some lemurs that can probably put it together. So, uh, Gloria, how about that kiss? How about we get this beacon together first? Hey, baby, I've got a little problemo with these crabs. Oh, joy. They're always pinching me, and believe it or not, I'm not quite as quick on these cloven hooves as I used to be. Maybe you can squash some of them for me? If it helps me find a piece for the beacon, I'm a squashing machine. 
Well, if you can squash enough of them in time, there's a piece of the rescue beacon in it for you, as well as some quality FaceTime with yours truly. Nice work! Now what say we talk about us? Go get your... Go get him, tiger. Melman, our scouts have located a crucial piece for the rescue beacon. It's resting on that rock over there, and I think you just might have the savvy to help us retrieve it. Savvy? I've got the savvy? Oh no, I'm gonna die! No, Melman, pull yourself together. Savvy means talent or ability. Oh, oh, phew. French words like that usually mean something terrible. Anyway, the plan here is to have you use that great long neck of yours to fling three lemurs onto that rock. Once you get them up there, they should be able to bring home the beacon. Press the action button to charge up, then release when you're ready to throw. Up, Melman, you still got two more to go. Yes. Be careful with this last one. You've got a long throw to make. Nice throw! That should do the trick. Now take your piece for the beacon. regular king of the jungle.
Mountain Tiger. I don't think I'm wearing the proper safety equipment for a long junk like this. See you later, Marty. Knock on wood. Don't worry, Mal. I'll handle it. Just getting around in a while sure is a pain in the butt. You want to battle? You must be crazy! My technique is the best! Your style is weak and undeveloped. My pupils can defeat you. Is that ridiculous accent real? No, of course not. But you will still lose. Number one, defeat him! You better watch it! I ain't one of those wimpy nature video zebras! Number one sucked anyway. Number two, take him out. Oh, come on! Now I got the Crocs mad at me too? You better watch it. I ain't one of those wimpy nature video zebras. I see you've defeated my pupils. Your technique is not as weak as I suspected. But now you must fight the ultimate enemy. Get back! <laughs> Another shot like that, and I'll be out of commission. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your technique is impressive. You have defeated me.
zebra? Those tortoises are giving me trouble. They keep knocking the fruit out of my tree. I tried asking them to stop, but that only seemed to excite them all the more. C can you take them out for me? No problem. Those turtles won't be bothering you or your fruit anymore. Let's just say I'm gonna make them an offer they can't refuse. Oh, that's great. Uh, thanks a million. You do mean you're gonna kick them, right? Right. What the? These shells are made for kicking. Whatever happened to the slow, nice turtle? You turtles have just met your match. Well, better than your match, actually. These shells are made for kicking. You've done it! Those turtles never knew what hit them. You take this piece for the rescue beacon back while I sit here and eat a lot, okay? Hey, could you ask your cute hippo friend? You go, girl! No one uses that expression anymore. <gasps> well, hello again. I think one of the pieces for the rescue beacon is hidden inside these crates. What say we harness our natural chemistry and work together to smash open the crates before the tide rolls in and takes them out to sea? Again, I think one of the pieces for the rescue beacon is hidden inside these crates. What say we harness our natural chemistry and work together to smash open the crates before the tide rolls in and takes them out to sea?
Well, hello again. I think one of the pieces for the rescue beacon is hidden inside these crates. What say we harness our natural chemistry and work together to smash open the crates before the tide rolls in and takes them out to sea? Teamwork. I must say that we complement each other well. Teamwork? But you didn't open a single crate. Uh, no. I, I definitely took out a few. <sighs> At least I got another piece for the rescue beacon. Thanks, I guess. Now, Gloria, I believe we have the matter of a kiss to discuss? Oh, yeah! Pucker up and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise. Psst! Melman, you do it. Not a chance! Who knows where that snout's been? Just picture him as a big giant peanut. Plus, I'll make it up to you. Well, it's over now, so we just wait here and... Uh, Marty, you okay? I just... I can't live without Alex. But Marty, he tried to eat you. Well, I probably deserved it for getting us into this mess. And besides, I'd gladly take a thousand bites on the butt if it means saving my friend. A hundred. A dozen. Three. You can stay here and keep an eye out. I'm going back for Alex. You don't even know where he is. I'll find some help. See ya! Look, man, I can't leave this island without Alex, and I don't have much time. Can you tell me the fastest way to get to him? Have you tried Toad Road? Will it take me to Alex quickly? Uh, no. It's actually a longer route, and it's full of toads. Lots and lots of toads! Then there's Apple Passage, if you like apples. I don't care about apples or toads. I'm looking for Alex, my friend, the lion. I need you to focus, Mart. Is there any faster route? Well, if you want to get there as quickly as possible, I'm afraid your only chance is to take the No Chance of Survival Trail from over there. Now that sounds promising. Well, the name is misleading. It's really more of a pathway than a trail. That's not the part that... And you'll be pleased to know that it's an apple-less, toad-free environment. 
I guess we'll have to take our chances with the No Chance of Survival Trail. Let's go! to keep a tight schedule. Get to the checkpoints quickly, or I, uh, oop, might not be there to meet you. What do you mean? You got big plans in that or something? No. The other creatures in this jungle may have plans to eat small, unattended animals that don't keep moving along in a fast pace. Gotcha. I'll try to hurry. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't kick a flower, but these ones look kind of special. right here. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe we should enter this cave entrance. Wow! I just had exactly the same idea. There's a real synergy between us. Can you feel it? It's downright spooky. This looks like a dead end to me, Mort. Now what? I couldn't help but over here, you guys must need a path through this area. Well, I just might be able to clear one for you, but I'm gonna need vitamins. So what do you want us to do? Just go to the mall and pick up some B12? Yeah, what's a B12? I'm talking about fruit. And this tree is just chock full of it. But that spider up there keeps shaking it loose. I tried bouncing on these mushrooms to get some air and catch the fruit before it falls and splatters, but it seems my rather ample frame has left me vertically challenged. Interesting. So what you need is someone small enough to be able to bounce up and grab the fruit before it hits the ground. Hey, Mort. You know anyone like that? Well, I don't see... Oh, you mean me, right? No, I'm talking about the other disgustingly cute furry animal right in front of me. Come on, we're running out of time. Oh, and watch out for the durian fruit. Like most good-hearted people, I hate that stuff. Only pick up cherries, limes, oranges, bananas, and ooh, maybe even an apple or two. thing. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Check this out, man. That's it? All you did was push over a rock? This ain't no dead end. I'm about to open a can of whoop a butt on you, butthog. Uh, I, I, uh, um, wh 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 what about your friend, though, huh? Don't you have somewhere to be? Yeah, I do. You got lucky this time. Oh boy! 
It's the great Florgendorf slide, named after Hans Florgendorf, who was regrettably killed during an unfortunate sliding accident. Great, just what we need. What danger? Oh, no, 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 the slide isn't dangerous at all. Hans Florgendorf just made the foolish decision to go down this side on a homemade sledding device, which somehow instantly burst into flames. So as long as we're not going down in Hans Florgendorf's homemade sled, we should be fine? Absolutely! And just use the slide's natural springs to propel yourself down faster. That's easy. Watch this. You just drop down and... Shall we? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that too. That's that synergy between us again. Mort! How'd you get all the way over there? We were literally just standing right next to each other. Well, the plot called for it. Don't come apart on me now, Marty. All you have to do is cross this treacherous spider cave area by yourself and we can move on to the next area. Whatever happened to Synergy? This isn't crack a ah! I hate spiders. Just beyond these caves. All you have to do Drink. is. What the? <laughs> hey, give me back my little friend. I need him to find my big friend. And I don't think you want to mess with this again. Ah, yes. When last we met, I tried to fight to no avail. This time, uh, I attempt something new. I throw Mort in my mouth. <gasps> Perhaps I cannot defeat you in combat, but I am swift of feet. Try to reach the bottom of this slide as soon as possible, and I will do the same. First one down wins the right to eat Mort. Hmm, I hear he tastes like chicken. Begin! Oh, my dear friend, have you not the heart for this?
nothing more to do you. But may I ask you to consider two out of three? No! Marty, you rescued me! That must have been horrible inside that cock's mouth. It really wasn't that bad. I've actually been in worse mouths before. Uh, okay then. So, any idea where Alex is? Yes. All you have to do is drop down that whirlpool. Mark, tell me you're kidding. Even if I could survive this whirlpool, I don't see how it can take me anywhere except for maybe the bottom of the ocean. No, no, it works. Trust me. And aren't you sick of going through caves? Well, this is much more exciting. Just jump right in and be sure to think happy thoughts. Well, I guess it wouldn't make any less sense than just about everything else in this crazy place. Here goes. I'm coming for you, Alex! Come to visit us. Do come in and take a look at our many one-of-a-kind sale items. Ah yes. Ah yes. Ah yes. Splendid old bean. Ah yes. We have a limited time offer on new items. Limited that is. I can't believe I bit Marty! I don't know what's happened to me! Whoa! Not a good neighborhood! Come on, guys! Can't we all just get along? I am seriously outnumbered! Penguins? This is an airborne supply drop, compadre. Grab those power cards and your firepower will be increased! Good luck. We're gonna secure the perimeter. Wow! Claws! Check these babies out! Get a grip on yourselves! Taste disgusting. <laughs> I hate durians.
here. with the zebra? Marty, what are you doing here? Saving you, what does it look like? Yeah, nice work. Uh, I am so glad to see you, Marty. Aw, uh, I'd say we tie this chump up and give him to the penguins. They'll know how to keep him out of trouble. Giants, for what you have done, we will never forgive you. Forget you. That's what I said. I've really grown to love you, little guy. Me too. My immune system is starting to get used to the indigenous bacteria in all your fur. With their leader defeated, our people are now free to ravage the booze lands of anything edible. I hereby pronounce the party celebrating the preparations for the party honoring our liberator to begin immediately following the free free parties. Free party party! Well, it's good to be back together again. Giants, your friends await. Impressive work back there, soldier. Yeah. Thanks for your help, but I thought you guys waddle off to Antarctica. Antarctica. Nothing but a bunch of ice. Well, looks like we arrived just in the nick of time. Great meeting you, Lemurs. Lemurs. Well, Maurice, everybody's happy. Once again, I have seen the day. Of course, Your Majesty. 